Some institutions from the U.S. Embassy continue to conspire against this process, against the people, and especially against the national government. And that is why, using this gathering and the 1st of May, we've decided to expel U.S. aid from Bolivia. U.S. aid is leaving Bolivia. I ask our brother foreign minister to immediately speak with the U.S. Embassy. No more U.S. aid which manipulates, uses our brothers with charity. And for our radio listeners, that was obviously not John Kerry, because his Spanish <laughs> is not that good. That was Evo Morales, the president of, of Bolivia. Uh, uh, your comments? Well, you know, it's a double-edged sword. There certainly are projects in public health, these kinds of areas, where USAID has provided funding, and it's not political, and those programs are going to lose their funding. But it's on the U.S.'s doorstep. The fact is that the United States government has historically used USAID to have a political agenda to uh, strengthen the opponents of the government. And, you know, Bolivians don't feel any more happy about that than people in the United States would if we found out that the Chinese government was funding democracy now. And so I think that this is really what's behind it. But the reality—and this, I think, is important to note. Bolivia and the United States really don't have any strategic interest with one another anymore. That's really the heart of it. Bolivia doesn't really matter to the United States. Uh, it's not a strategic player. And the United States really doesn't matter very much to Bolivia. They haven't had ambassadors since 2007. So I think that what you're seeing is it's just a bad relationship that is not getting any better. And, you know, there's always a lot of support in Bolivia when the president uh, does says something against the United States, and this is a good time politically for him to do that. Um, you know, USAID's money has been cut radically over the last few years. There's just really not much left of the relationship altogether.